Happy New Year, everyone. We have begun another year full of hope in our hearts that this year would be better than last year. True, we are still in the middle of the pandemic, but it is always better to be optimistic, even in the midst of battle. That's actually where we are at this moment, battling again a surge in COVID cases because of the Omicron variant. Perhaps many of us are already feeling COVID fatigue, experiencing this emotion of helplessness and fear, especially when the virus hit close to home. That is, when members of our own family and closest friends become infected by it. Many are also psychologically and emotionally affected by the isolation that has to be observed, especially when one has been infected. Yes, it is not easy. It requires a lot of sacrifice for the person concerned and for her family. This pandemic problem is even aggravated by the recent typhoon of death that struck our country before Christmas. So many lives were lost and properties destroyed. Families were left homeless. Many families have to stay in evacuation centers with other people in the midst of pandemic, lacking even the most basic necessities. It really breaks your heart just to think of this situation. And yet, it is a reality that many of our brothers and sisters are experiencing right now. But thanks be to God, so many good Samaritans also reach out to help and continue to do so, even until now. Sometimes we find it hard to understand why these things happen, and we ask God why. We cannot fathom the, the wisdom of God. But one thing is sure, God can always draw straight along crooked lines. He can always bring out something positive from the negativities that happen in our life, from the trials that we are experiencing. Let us keep in mind that every event that happens in our life is an invitation for us to learn and to grow in faith. At the beginning of this year, we are encouraged to put our heads high. This is not the time to feel disheartened. We know that it is when we feel most alone that God is ever nearer. We have to seek Him in the depths of our hearts. He would never leave us in the midst of our difficulties and trials. Hindi siya nang iiwan. You know, on the wall of all our chapels, these words are inscribed, Do not be afraid. I am with you always. These are words from our Lord that have inspired our founder, Blessed James Alvarione. These words are also addressed to us now, even as we struggle in life amidst this pandemic. 